Welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do a fall seedling tour. This is part two. So if you saw the first part, now we're a few weeks past that. Everything is growing, has their first mature leaves, has been up potted. It just looks like fall is actually going to happen and I'm actually going to have plants to put in the ground. I was a little nervous there for a few minutes, a few days, but I'm going to show you what I've got and you'll see this garden is about to be full with fall veggies. Here's an overview of my seedlings. It looks a little different now that most everything's potted up. I'm going to show you in general what we've got. We have some Swiss chard going up front. It is looking floppy. Is this normal? I have never grown Swiss chard. I'm worried about it right now. <laughs> we'll see, but that's okay. I have uh, my littlest snapdragon. I have a lot bigger ones. That one is just ridiculously small. may not make it. Then I have some beets. These are probably my Detroit red beets and they're looking pretty good. They're putting on their first leaves. I probably should transplant them soon, but I actually do need to get them hardened off first. Some snapdragons, some more Swiss chard, a failed Swiss chard. He may not make it. Okay, that's my little snapdragon. Bless. So that's the theme of this one. Some beets, some Swiss chard, snapdragons. Next, totally different over here. I just up potted my kale and some of my last collards. So I have my little cute baby kales of all kinds. The kale leaves, wow, that was bad movement here. Baby kale leaves are the cutest thing I've ever seen. Every year I'm like, that is the cutest thing. And they are happy with their new soil. They've all put on new growth. Look at that little lacinato. So we've got kale loading. I told Josh, my husband, all about it, and he was like, oh, great. <laughs> but he likes kale when it's cooked. And then over here I have some herbs and a few runts, some, some snapdragons that are just too small to be up potted. Some of them could be, but the rest are not. And then I've got some dill, which definitely needs to be hardened off and put in the ground. I have had success transplanting dill but I haven't transplanted it much bigger than this, so these might struggle, but I just wanted to try to get a super head start. I can just direct sow this stuff, like my cilantro and everything too. And then I've got a couple weird looking broccolini, broccoli rob that just weren't big enough to be up potted. Maybe they are now. They're looking so much better. That fertilizer I gave them, I think. And then here are more, uh oh, oh. Here are more kale. All that to say. They're a little pale, but they got fertilized within a few days ago, and the newer leaves are looking more green, so I think they'll be fine. Okay. Moving on. Moving on to this tray here. We have some more mature seedlings. These are getting actually hardened off for real this week. I have some older Swiss chard. Look at that leaf. That leaf is looking like Swiss chard. Got some more beets. Chamomile. All these fuzzy guys are chamomile. The chijimasi greens looking nice and plump. Some Georgia. No, these are my Alabama blue collards looking blue with a little purple vein to them. Nice. Some other more mature seedlings. I've got some really pale parsley. Don't know why. Probably need to fertilize these guys a little extra. I've got some more snapdragons. This is this is a, getting to be transplant size. Beat snapdragons. That's the theme of this tray. Couple more. This one's the most interesting one because it has my broccoli that I half-heartedly grew and it looks, just looks so much better all of a sudden. It got fertilized this week. I've got my biggest snapdragon. This is actually big enough that I need to pinch it. I need to pinch it right around. Maybe I think I'll pinch it here. I think I'll chicken out and keep it kind of tall. Some more chijimisi. Beautiful. Some Alabama collards here. My red vein sorrel has like quadrupled in size this week. I think it just wanted some fertilizer. And I've got two in here. These need to be transplanted. They are some beautiful things. They're perennial. And then my last tray here, the last of the kale and the last of the collards. I've got some Georgia Southern collards in here too. It's a little ridiculous how many uh, brassicas I started that are just leafy greens. But last year I didn't have enough kale, so I'm trying to level it up. 
Thank you for watching my seedling tour. I have been attacked by mosquitoes. I'm gonna do a quick harvest of the garden and then I'm gonna move these seedlings inside and retreat because the mosquitoes are still as aggressive as ever. I hope everyone's having a great end of summer gardening. Please comment below what your seed's starting right now. I would love to know and get some more ideas.